What's good, Meat Boys? Real quick, just want to give a quick shout out to our 18 subscribers. We appreciate you grilling and chilling with Meat Boy MMA. In this one, we have Jalen Turner taking on Brock Weaver. The Tarantula Turner was supposed to fight last weekend against Tiago Moises, but like many fights last week, COVID had other ideas. And with this weekend, Brock Weaver was supposed to be fighting Frank, President Camacho, and COVID had something to do with that one as well. But thankfully for us, the matchmakers were able to keep arguably the A side of both of those fights intact, as they've now matched up Jalen Turner with Brock Weaver for this weekend. Turner is 9-5 overall, 2-2 two two in the UFC, whereas Chata Tusco Weaver is 15-5 overall, but just 0-1 in the UFC, his lone loss coming via submission to Roosevelt Roberts. We have Jalen the Tarantula Turner as an absolute meat lock for this fight. Give me your thoughts on why Jalen Turner should smash Chata Tusca. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think Jalen Turner, a.k.a. the Tarantula, is going to dismantle Weaver. Um, I mean, his reach, his height, uh, his speed, I think, all surpasses Weaver. Um, I think he's just an all-around better fighter on the ground and standing up. And I think this is going to be an absolute meat lock, boys. And uh, he's going to get the job done real quick. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I mean, we saw Brock Weaver struggle against Roosevelt Roberts, right? The the length of Roberts kind of uh, gave Weaver some troubles. And Roberts is a rangy six-foot lightweight. Jalen Turner, meanwhile, is a 6'3", even rangier lightweight. Um, he arguably also has better takedown offense. And the submission game from both of these fighters might be close, but I just don't see Brock Weaver being able to get back up after Jalen Turner successfully takes him down. I also see the edge going to Jalen Turner on the stand-up as well. I think he's going to be pumping out that jab, uh, using his reach to his advantage against the shorter, stockier Weaver. And I just see Jalen Turner dominating this fight wherever it goes, truthfully. How do you see Turner getting the job done? Do you think he's going to find a way to uh, sneak a submission or a KO, TKO? Or do you think he's just going to grind out a decision? What do you think? Yeah, I'm actually going to go with the topology uh, uh, majority with here over the TKO. Uh, I'm going to go with second round TKO. Um, I think Weaver is, is not ready for this. Even though Turner took this on short notice, I think still Turner is going to get it done. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that one. It wouldn't surprise me if Jalen Turner just took him down and kind of uh, mounted him for, for a few rounds and ultimately grinded out a decision. Um, but I'm going to go with that TKO finish as well. I think that's a great call. Um, I think he's just going to give Weaver too much of a fit wherever this fight goes. So this is our meat locker for the week. We're 7-2 and two overall with our meat lockers and hoping to make it 8-2 and two with this one. We're going to throw down $100 of our $159.48 balance. At minus 325, that's going to profit $30.27. So we're not going to go all in, but this is a meat lock for sure. A slow sizzle getting our way back in the green. Any last thoughts on this one, me boy? No, I'm super excited for this fight and this whole card this weekend. You know, there's definitely some solid fight to watch. Um, but yeah, guys, like that, hit that like, subscribe button, and uh, comment who you guys are going for, and uh, check out our next video.